Hi, everyone. I'm Claire, and I'm a UI test developer at Auto Motors, a, a division of ClearPath Robotics. The company was founded by four University of Waterloo graduates from the mechatronics program. In 2009, they entered a robotics competition where they built a robot that detects landmines so humans didn't have to risk their lives, and they won the competition. And today, we manufacture and operate self-driving vehicles that work inside BC factories and warehouses. We support both the hardware and software of our self-driving vehicles. Just to give you a sense of what kind of self-driving vehicles that I'm working on, on your left, actually on your right, is the Auto Omega. This vehicle is a lift truck that moves heavy pallets. And on your right is the Auto 100, our smallest vehicle. It moves lighter materials such as bins and bosses. They are both considered self-driving vehicles because they can move, detect, and avoid obstacles safely and autonomously. And here's the web application that I've been working on. It is called the Fleet Manager. Here are some tasks that I can do with this application. On your right, you can see the map facility. You can see the self-driving vehicle's location and its planned path. And on your left, you can monitor the self-driving vehicle's battery level as well as the task it's working on. So I have worked with Selenium, Puppeteer, and Cypress for UI test automation, and some people call it end-to-end -end testing. All of them are free to use. This is really good news. But none of them are perfect. Each of them has its own advantages and disadvantages. I will share them with you shortly. So let me be clear what kind of tools that I'm going to talk about today. So this is Cypress helping me to test a part of the fleet manager. So these tools perform actions like clicking, typing, and scrolling the web page itself. So first of all, for Selenium, when people think of this kind of testing, they think of Selenium. It has been around for quite a while. It supports multiple browsers, such as Firefox and Chrome. It supports multiple programming language, such as Python, and of course, JavaScript. You can use Selenium with your favorite test runner it can be used for automating tests and, and for um, automating tasks on the browser in general. So one of my biggest pet peeves of Selenium is that it requires a driver software for every version of the browser. So I count this as the cost of maintaining test running in Selenium. So Selenium 
is faster than manual testing, but it is slower than the tools I will mention next. The next one then is Puppeteer. It runs faster than Selenium. It also works with your favorite test runner. And like Selenium, you can use Puppeteer not only for testing, but for automating tasks on a web browser. It is designed to work with modern web frameworks. For instance, I don't have to insert manual weights every way in my code before interacting with, for example, a button or a test field. Puppeteer can go under the hood of the browser. For example, we can fake the geolocation for a test. And um, Puppeteer has some useful tools. It can collect metrics such as memory usage, code coverage, as well as accessibility metrics. They are very interesting metrics. So as of today, Puppeteer supports Chrome officially, and the Firefox support is experimental at this point. So the last tool that I will talk about is Cypress. Cypress design goals are similar to Puppeteer's. It is fast and it accommodates modern web frameworks. It also has knowledge of under the hood of the browser. For example, I can set the local storage of the browser for a test. I can fake some web traffic for a test also. Cypress is bundled with some useful tools such as a video recorder, a um, debugger that allows me to step back each individual steps of the test, and it also can take screenshots. So as of now, Cypress is bundled with Mocha.js test runner, and by design, it only drives one browser or tab at one time, and it does not support file upload natively. So if I can request a major feature to be supported by Cypress and Puppeteer right now, yesterday, or last week, this feature would be Firefox support. If I have Firefox support in Puppeteer and Cypress, I can just write one test to run on both browsers. So I can automate a pretty good part of cross-browser testing. So just to recap, I have mentioned about Selenium, Puppeteer, and Cypress. They allow us to carry out UI testing. All of them are free to use, and each of them has its own advantages and disadvantages. Thank you for listening. <laughs>